Have you ever wondered how to create twisted geometries? As you can see on the screen, we have some of the uh, examples uh, that I saw online. And one of my first uh, industrial design project was to create a fountain pen. It was pretty much something like this and something like on uh, the design on the screen, as you can see right now, it's like a sort of square uh, rotates 90. And in that case, it rotates another 90 degrees too. Uh, and create some sort of appealing uh, geometry shape and today we are going to be trying that out trying to maintain twisted geometry form in uh, 3d 3d modeling uh, which in this case we are not going to be using sub d modeling uh, you can use pretty much the same uh, approach but this is going to be the nurse modeling so I pretty much created the overall dimensions I looked up online uh, for the fountain pen. I created the overall rectangle dimensions of it. And I am trying to establish uh, my uh, main uh, form, main um, proportions. This is pretty much doing like a sketch onto paper. You draw lines uh, initially and then you do some shadings shadings are your surfaces uh, in 3d uh, and then you kind of do some ground uh, shading as well background as well this is pretty much we can say it is a rendering in sketch but yeah we the the first approach is to design your curves is to actually apply your curves according to your idea according to your design idea at the moment i am just creating some curve layout to kind of maintain my uh, sketch ideation into 2d at the moment and then i'm going to be tra transforming these 2d curves into 3d and i decide where to put pretty much the twist effect twisted geometry effect but it's on 2d it's just a, an ideation not not the not the main position it couldn't be the main position or could be it, it totally depends and now uh, i'm trying to build up the uh, three dimensional sketches this is pretty much the exact same thing as you do on paper but this time in 3d uh, yeah i want it uh, as it goes down it kind of gets narrower and it, as it goes forward uh, it, it gets narrower too, but pretty much the equal uh, amount of uh, scaling. <clears throat> this is pretty, pretty, pretty basics. Just creating the curves, duplicating on the z-axis. And now uh, our surfaces comes in. I use square tools since I have four-sided, closed, boxed up uh, curve network. I use square tool. To quickly box the surfaces up and I <clears throat> and I also pay attention to CV structure uh, as long as they are equal and equally distributed in every surface it may it will make our uh, process easier but if you have messy CVs it's not equally distributed and so on uh, it, 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 it won't help you at all. I suggest you to make them equal. 2x2 two two I use here at, at the moment. Sometimes I decrease, sometimes I increase, depend, depend on the situation. In this case I deleted the middle row and select the uh, CVs. I put the pivot in the center and rotate the CVs 90 degrees on the Z axis and it kind of gave, gave us the twisted geometry uh, so geometrical surfaces so uh, yeah in this case our design kind of begin to show itself but what is missing is a good uh, blend between the hard edges so i'm going to be applying that blend and for both sides it should be equal i don't use surface fill tool here i use free from blend tool uh, for bigger portion of uh, blend surfaces and I've projected the curves onto surfaces and trimming them. And afterwards, I will be using freeform blend tool, G to each size. Make sure uh, your uh, ending selections are edge align. 
I mean, this technique you can use in every kind of surfacing yeah, software. It goes same with the Rhino as well. Uh, if you understand the pretty much the logic of how to create the overall surfaces, it, it goes for every nerves modeling software too. In this case, I use a fillet tool here to kind of yeah sharpen out the hard uh, the edges, the uh, soften out the sharp edges, and to make make it like make it look like more appealing and look like more finished surfacing. I use skin tool between and I extended them and applied uh, fillet as well for both uh, endings. So yeah, this is like a our geometry pretty much finished here. It, it is like one rectangle goes to another one by rotating itself 90 degrees uh, and applied a bigger portion of blend so it looks smooth. You can shorten the, the blend if you want it to look like a little bit sharper than right now but yeah you get the point this is pretty much i kind of decide uh, where to place the cap of the pen yeah the, the dimensions it was like 60 65 millimeters when i looked looked it up online so i use like 60 mil uh, and i divide surfaces i'm going to be delaying the uh, thin surface in the middle uh, so it kind of look look like there is a gap between it's, it kind of replicates the cap and the rest of the body and I'm going to be uh, applying small fillets in between so that it looks like a complete product of course we have so many elements missing but yeah this is a fast uh, surface modeling uh, to kind of see our a design idea in 3d does it look good or not i scaled it up a little because you know the cap is gonna be on on top of the rest of the body so i'm trying to mimic as much as possible uh, according to the real life scenario but it shouldn't be it, it doesn't matter it covers the 100 percent of the reality of course this is the exploration yet but yeah, trying to mimic. And yeah, we, with this with this same methodology, we can use uh, thousands of different geometrical explorations. I mean, from triangle to circle, from rectangle to circle, from square to circle. I don't know, from triangle to twisted triangle. It it really depends on your uh, ideations and we already we already seen so many uh, industrial products in the market using the same surfacing techniques in their products it is kind of good to know how to build up something like that yeah for instance this one is the from triangle to uh, circle same dimensions as fountain pen uh, i uh, use a draft tool to extend the triangle surfaces and i'm using a line when i use a line tool i add five cv points more in order to position the uh, end uh, the um, curvature according to the circle and since it has a history running behind if we rotate the um, curves, I gotta align these ones positionally one more. If we rotate these curves, it'll kind of follow our rotation and update itself. So this is like a from triangle twisting towards to the circle. And if we apply uh, fillets between the hard edges, it's, it, you will you will be seeing smooth transition between uh, geometries, right? It is considerably easy using this technique uh, but I remember my first years in university I was doing some sketches that I showed you uh, in the beginning of the video uh, but I couldn't mention uh, I couldn't manage to create the 3d model I was like 
it was it was really bugging me out uh, but eventually i did somehow but yeah it, it wasn't like what i wanted to be but i didn't know i i was like i didn't see any tutorials as such back in my university days 10 years ago so you're welcome guys <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like the video comment your thoughts below so this is the rectangle to circle twisted in this case i created uh, cur uh, curves twisting according twisted according to the uh, point on the circles yeah this is pretty much how it's done we have different type of geometries already built up and you can try on your own and let me know how it goes if any questions let me know in the comments and see you on the next one bye bye